Hi everybody, welcome to the Half Ass Homestead. My name is Angie, and in today's video, I'm gonna explain why we brought 100 fully grown neat birds from a commercial farm onto the homestead. Without a little context, I don't believe this video would be terribly easy to follow. So I'm going to give that to you before we jump right into it. A commercial processor was having some farms grow out 150,000 meat birds. At full grown, they're filing for bankruptcy and they backed out of the deal. I did the math about what it would cost to feed 30,000 birds per day. That's $4,500. They're at the point in their growth cycle where they are not gaining a reasonable amount of weight per dollar of food provided. They're hardly gaining any. They're basically fully grown. These farms, in order to soften the blow, have been begging people to come pick these chickens up, um, some for free and some for a dollar donation, just to soften the blow of the huge loss that they're taking. So Andy took off early on Thursday, he took a halfer and headed out to the other side of the state to pick up some of these birds. So let's jump right into the mess of how they got here. So I just got home. And I have our meat bird trough here, our feeding trough. And we are preparing to unload 90 meat birds tonight. Um, Andy has spent the entire, like since noon, traveling across the state. We're like central, but more toward the east side of the state. He's going all the way to the hard left of this, like all the way out to the west of the state. To pick up these chickens who've not eaten in three days. So I'm gonna throw some grit in here and uh, some feed, and then I'm gonna bring out a bunch of water and drop that in there and we're probably going to need the entire pail. We could probably just put water in it straight away. currently filling a bucket with warm water so because they haven't eaten in three days I just suggested that we soak their food so I should probably go get the other bucket because 90 birds is probably gonna peel through 15 pounds of food pretty quick soak and feed Supposed to be going down to the bee yard, going down to the apiary to grab a couple of our waters. This is why I opted against starting a fire and unloading my car right away. Hmm. Catalogs. Yeah, good kids. Good, stay. Well, stay. You're the one who likes getting shocked. No, no I don't. I just kind of get shocked. Mm. 
They almost went for a really hard ride. Why? Yeah, nice skate planner. Right by Dollar General. Here? It's the one over by the dump. There were no casualties during transit and everybody seems to be living their best life in our garden for the last few days. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.